。NVIDIA 在 GTC 上宣布重大机器人与 AI 创新。I want to thank our partner Foxconn. Yang Liu, the CEO, is here. But all of these ecosystem partners make it possible for us to create the future of robotic factories. The factory is essentially a robot that's orchestrating robots to build things that are robotic. You know, this is the amount of software necessary to do this is so intense that unless you could do it inside a digital twin to to plan it to design it. To operate it inside a digital twin, the hopes of getting this to work is nearly impossible. I'm so happy to see also that Caterpillar, my friend Joe Joe Creed, and his hundred-year-old company is also incorporating digital twins in the way they manufacture.、Um, these factories will have future robotic systems, and one of the most advanced is Figure. Brett Atkock is here today. He just he founded a company three and a half years ago. They're worth almost forty billion dollars today. We're working together in training the the AI, training the robot, simulating the robot, and of course the robotic computer that goes into figure. Really amazing.、Uh, I had the benefit of seeing it.、Uh, it's really quite quite extraordinary. It is very likely that human or robots. It, And、uh, my friend Elon is also working on this. That this is likely going to be one of the largest consumer, new consumer electronics markets, and surely one of the largest industrial equipment market. Peggy Johnson and the folks at Agility are working with us on robots for warehouse automation. The folks at Johnson Johnson working with us again, training the robot, simulating it in digital twins, and also operating the robot. These. Johnson, Johnson and Johnson sur- surgical robots are even going to perform surgery that are completely non-invas- non-invasive surgery at a precision the world's never seen before. And of course, the cutest robot ever, the cutest robot ever, the Disney robot. And this is this is、um, uh, something really close to our heart. We're working with Disney Research on an entirely new. Framework and simulation platform、uh, based on revolutionary technology called Newton, and that Newton、uh, simulator makes it possible for the, the robot to learn how to be a good robot inside a physically aware, physically based environment. Let's take a look at it. Blue, ladies and gentlemen, Disney Blue. Tell me that's not adorable. He's not adorable. We all want one. We all want one. Now, remember everything you were just seeing. That is not animation. It's not a movie. It's a simulation. That simulation is an omniverse. Omniverse, the digital twin. So these digital twins of factories, digital twins of warehouses, digital twins of surgical rooms, digital twins where. Blue could learn how to manipulate and navigate, and you know, interact with the world. All completely done in real time. This is going to be the largest consumer electronics product line in the world. Some of them are just really working incredibly well now. This is the future of human or robotics, and of course, blue. Okay. Now, human or robots is still in development, but meanwhile, there's one robot that is clearly at an inflection point, and it is basically here, and that is a robot on wheels. This is a robo taxi. A robo taxi is essentially an AI chauffeur. Now, one of the things that we're doing today, we're announcing the Nvidia Drive Hyperion. This is a big deal. 
We created this architecture so that every car company in the world could create cars, vehicles, could be commercial, could be passenger, could be dedicated to robo-taxi, create vehicles that are robo-taxi ready. The sensor suite with surround cameras and radars and LIDAR make it possible for us to achieve the highest level of surround cocoon sensor perception and redundancy necessary for the highest level of safety. Hyperion Drive, Drive Hyperion, is now designed into Lucid, Mercedes-Benz, my friend Ola Kalenius, um, the folks at Stellantis, and there are many other cars coming. And once you have a basic standard platform, then developers of AV systems, and there's so many talented ones, Wave, Wabi, Aurora, Momenta, Neuro, there's so many of them. We ride, there's so many of them that can then take their AV system and run it on the standard chassis. Basically, the standard chassis has now become a computing platform on wheels. And because it's standard and the sensor suite is comprehensive, all of them could deploy their AI to it. Let's take a quick look. Okay, that's, the be that's beautiful San Francisco. And as you could see, as you could see, robo-taxis and flexion point is about to get here. And in the future, a trillion miles a year that are driven, 100 million cars made each year, there's some 50 million taxis around the world, it's going to be augmented by a whole bunch of robo-taxis. So it's going to be a very large market. To connect it and deploy it around the world, today we're announcing a partnership with Uber. Uber, Dara, Dara K, Dara is going to, we're working together to connect these NVIDIA Drive Hyperion cars into a global network. And now in the future, you'll you know, be able to hail up one of these cars and the ecosystem is going to be incredibly rich and we'll have Hyperion or robo-taxi cars all over the world. This is going to be a new computing platform for us and I'm expecting it to be quite successful. Okay. So this is what we talked about today. We talked about a large, large number of things. We spoke about, remember, at the core of this is two, or two platform transitions from general purpose computing to accelerated computing. NVIDIA CUDA and those suite of libraries called CUDA X has enabled us to address practically every industry and we're at the inflection point. It is now growing as a virtual cycle would suggest. The second inflection point is now upon us. The second platform transition, AI from classical handwritten software to artificial intelligence. Two platform transitioning happening at the same time, which is the reason why we're feeling such incredible growth. Quanta, quantum computing, we spoke about. Open models, we spoke about. We spoke about enterprise with CrowdStrike and uh, Palantir accelerating their platforms. Uh, we spoke about robotics, a new, large, potentially one of the largest consumer electronics and industrial manufacturing sectors. And of course, we spoke about 6G. NVIDIA has new platforms for 6G. We call it ARC. We have a new platform for robotics cars. We call that Hyperion. We have new platforms even for factories, two types of factories, the AI factory, we call that DSX. And then factories with AI, we call that mega. And so now we're also manufacturing in America. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. And thank you for allowing me to bring... <clears throat>
Thank, thank you for, for allowing us to bring GTC to Washington, D.C. We're going to do it hopefully every year. And thank you all for your service and making America great again. Thank you.